So, you want to know which diet works best for fat loss because there's millions of them and you're super confused. Whether you decide to cut sugar, cut carbs, reduce fat, maybe you just decide to be a bit more healthy. Maybe you've seen loads of people getting healthy, getting in shape from turning vegan. Maybe you've heard people talking about eating clean. Maybe you've heard of or spent a fortune on Juice Plus or Herbal Life. What about Slimmer's World or Weight Watchers? Intermittent fasting. I've heard of raw food or soup diets. Or you've heard people talking about calorie counting. So whether it's the Insta Guru, the plan, the product, the service, the whatever, which is telling you to do a specific way of eating, a specific diet, a specific plan, they're all doing the same thing, which is trying to get you into a calorie deficit. Now, a calorie or calories is just a simple measurement of food for our body, a simple measurement of energy, a simple measurement of how much we're consuming. So all the evidence around something called thermogenesis dictates that if we eat more calories than our body needs, we'll gain weight. If we eat less calories than our body needs, we'll lose weight. So when we eat less calories than our body needs, we call it a calorie deficit. Dead easy. So what we recommend that you do to make this bit really easy is ignore what all these are trying to do and go straight to source and track your calorie intake. So what this enables us to do is be more precise. It's much easier than doing all of the other ones or doing what they're trying to do. And most importantly, you're not guessing like a lot of these are doing. So what you're doing by tracking calories is you're taking the mental trauma away from guessing with all of these other diets. Let's take clean eating, for example. A lot of people will try to clean their diet up, try to eat real whole clean foods, try to eat lots of vegetables, try to eat whole pieces of salmon, which are really, really healthy, and try to really clean their diet up. Now, the problem is some people, or most people that do this, end up still staying the same weight or sometimes gaining weight. Now, you've got a lot of mental trauma attached to that because you don't know why it's happening, you're trying really hard, you're avoiding all of them foods that you really, really like to eat, and you're still not getting anywhere. So you're eating clean, but you, you're not getting anywhere, so what are you gonna do? Like, wash your vegetables, get your banana and wash it? I don't know, like, what, what more can you do? You can't do any more. So by tracking your calorie intake, it gets rid of all the mental trauma. So what I'm trying to say is, track your calorie intake, it's dead, dead easy. It helps you not guess. So most importantly, you're gonna get the results that you're after. Next, make sure you're in a calorie deficit and basically forget all of them other diets that the Insta gurus, the internet, and all your friends and people you know are trying to get you to do. Basically, they all do the same thing, which is get you in a calorie deficit. Oh, by the way, when you're tracking your calories and you have that Domino's and the cookies and a few beers, it still counts as calories in your body.